Welcome to the Upper Hand Hair Salon in the Montrose area. We are basically continuing Courtney's hair journey. If you have been following me and following her, she has been very transparent about her hair loss that she has experienced. And we've done numerous videos on it. She's talked about it. She's been doing PRP hair treatments. And now we want to explore hair extensions for her. She's really excited. And I've got a friend in the industry who reached out and would love to offer Courtney some extensions. So come here, Missy. Yeah, so when I, when we got the email from my friend Rachel Gower, who owns the Upper Hand, and she and I have known each other forever, yeah. and you said, yo, I think I'd be really like, excited about this. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've shared, like you said, a lot of my hair journey on your channel, um, which I'm super thankful that we've come this far. Mm -hmm. um, and as you guys know, if my hair is down, I'm typically wearing clip-in extensions. Um, so I think I'm ready for the next level. Taking it to the next level. Yeah. I mean, already people have noticed and they've even commented on mm -hmm. your hair growth. Yeah. I mean, they're seeing the changes, yeah. but it's it's still not where you want it. It's, mm -hmm. it's a work in progress, yeah. right? Yeah. So what are you hoping extensions will do for you? Um, I'm hoping that maybe, well, I know that they're still going to require maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, just the clip-ins, just taking them out and in and out and in Which every single day. Which is what you're still day. doing Yes. Now. And it's just, it's a lot of upkeep, a lot of work, and some days my hair looks thicker when they're in and then yeah. thinner when they're out, and so it's just gonna be really nice to wake up and just feel really confident with like a full head of hair. And I know, you know, from what I've heard and from what Rachel's told us, they don't do damage on your hair, which is super mm -hmm. important with obviously all the work that I've been putting into my hair. Yes. Um, so yeah, I'm just really excited to wake up and feel good, yeah. you know, about my hair, without having to do a million things to it to try to I know. feel good about it. It's, it's been a lot. It's been <laughs> yeah. a lot for you, and I think this is the next step. So we're going to talk to Rachel. We're going to explore the different types of hair extensions that can be added in, talk to her technician who's going to do it, have a little sit-down and a consult with Courtney to kind of show you what this process is all about, and take it from there. All right, let's go. Everybody, meet Rachel Gower. Hi, everybody. Long time friend. <laughs> <Yes>. Long time <laughs> friend. Yeah. Oh, that means we're old. We are. We, we've journeyed together. <laughs> you you have a beautiful, amazing salon. Thank it's, you. it's been so lovely to see you and your business grow Thank and flourish you. the way that it has. And I, I love that. A woman in midlife who's just absolutely Thank thriving. You. I appreciate you're it. You're killing it. And you reached out to us and yeah. to Courtney. And you said, you know what? I think I can play an integral role in your hair journey. Yes. So, Tell us about what you want to do and what well, your goals are. Well, I'm so are. excited that she was willing to do this because yeah. this is, you know, hair extensions over the last 20 years have really come a long way. Mm -hmm. And when they first started, I mean, it was an awful thing. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, it just wasn't good. Mm -hmm and you could really damage your hair. So I'm so excited about it now because they're actually great for your hair. You can, if, you, if you're with the right person and it's mm -hmm. done in the, with the right technique, it's a wonderful option for people, especially people who are starting to thin. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like as we're in these, this special era of our life, you know, we are thinning and we yeah. do have to deal with these things. And it's like, we deserve to feel and look beautiful just mm -hmm. like anyone else. So I, you know, we've been in business for 27 years, so I've watched all of our clients grow up and go through this yeah and now we can offer them something that I'm super confident with that they can get a row of hair put into their own hair mm -hmm. and it blends perfectly and naturally and it gives them confidence and it gives them the ability to wake up beautiful like mm -hmm. Courtney was saying not have to spend an hour styling their hair yeah. it really cuts down on your maintenance which mm -hmm. sounds ironic yes but it actually cuts down on your maintenance interest I mean you have extensions I have on. I have two rows of extensions yep. in my hair it's life-changing. I could never go back. Huh? You start with, you know, like a couple tape-ins here and there. Yeah. And I, I call that like a, you know, gateway drug, basically. <laughs> yes, exactly. And, and, then, and then, well, and actually, uh, clip-ins are the ultimate gateway drug. Yes. So that's how it starts. And then you progress from there. But like I said, the options now are so much better than they've ever been. Mm -hmm. So I'm super excited. And, and she's the perfect candidate for this. Yeah. Um, and, you know, since she has battled with the alopecia, mm -hmm. we have to be really, really careful 
careful. Yes. It's super important that we know exactly what we're doing and that you're with a technician that does know what they're doing. Um, because if the if the um, beads are installed too tightly, mm -hmm. you can cause oh. problems. Yes. Yeah. And I've seen problems before. So just super excited about this, super excited about what this can mean to a lot of women watching mm -hmm. this right now. It can be life changing. So excited to sit down for the concert, yes. meet the technician who's going to do this and learn more about the process. Yes. So we're here and I'm curious to hear what Courtney's options are when it comes to extensions and the different types. Yeah, so I would say the best option for Courtney would definitely be our uh, flex wefts for sure. She, they're very lightweight for her hair mm -hmm. and with her having a little bit of finer density, I think they wouldn't put too much tension on her mm -hmm. hair. So the Bellamy Flex West would definitely be her best option. Explain what that is. So they're, ba they're basically going to be um, held in by some beads and then I would go in and sew them in on top of the bead. Does it pull on the hair? I mean, I know there are the tape in extensions, the sewn in kind that you're talking about. Does it pull on hair that's already maybe a little weak or growing in? No, so I actually have quite a few clients who have similar density to her and mm -hmm. their hair has grown quite a bit with them in. The question is a really good one because it does depend on the method. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, you mentioned tape in extension. Yeah. So for super fine hair, that's not a great option yeah. because what happens is that really fine, fragile hair gets stuck in the tape. Mm -hmm. And now you're trying to pick it out piece by and, piece. Yes. And inevitably, some of it's going to break. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not pulling it out from the scalp, but you will end up with breakage. Yes. So for someone with super thick, coarse hair, tapins can be really good. Or for someone who just needs to fill in mm -hmm. this recession area, that's yes. a great option. Mm -hmm. But for Courtney, really, this um, she's going to do the waterfall beaded row, I think, is what you're going to do. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a really good method because because we, she's going to create a horizontal track. Mm -hmm. The horizontal track means that the beads are, instead of being vertical like this, they're literally horizontal, right. so they're, there's less downward pressure, less gravity, basically. So it really puts less strain on each bead. She also puts the beads pretty close together, so that also distributes the weight on each bead, which is really what you want with fine hair. So what are our length options here? So we have about, with Bellamy hair that I like to use, we have a 16 inch option, which is their shortest option. They also have a 20, a 22, and a 24 inch option. So some people might not quite want the 20 inch option, but mm -hmm. unfortunately, there's not an 18, so I usually would recommend doing 20, and then if we need to cut them a little bit, you can do I can cut them to the 18 inch length. Yep. With her, I mean, she's kind of right at that point where I think 16 inches is only gonna add maybe an inch of length for her. So I would maybe do the 20 inch, and yep. then we can shorten them. And then once they're installed, how long do they last before you've got to bring them back up again? Sorry, I didn't mean to yank No, I have to do about <laughs> six to eight weeks. Okay. It's a really good time frame for the move up. And once you do your initial install, you can come in, like let's say six to eight weeks, and then do a move up. Okay. And then after that, it really just depends. Some people can get one more move up out of that. Mm -hmm. um, it's really more case by case for me, how I like to uh, do my move ups. It just really depends on the client's hair density. So yeah. sometimes I can do two move ups, sometimes okay. I'll do every other time. I'll take it out and put it back in, so. Nice, and how many times can you do that? How many times can you use this hair that you're buying? So I like to say about eight months you can get about seven Pretty to eight good. months out of the hair right it's, it's definitely depending on how well you can take care of them too mm -hmm. because some people if you fall asleep with your hair wet it's going to kind of tangle them when you have to get them brushed out it's yeah. going to lose some of the hair in the track so definitely taking care of them is key to how long you can make them last i've even had hair for myself last me about a year so but I would say the average person about eight months. Okay. And, and an important question, you know, she's been doing um, PRP treatments, yes. minoxidil, right. all of that. Mm -hmm. So this in no way compromises that they can be done in tandem with all of these hair regrowth treatments. Yeah, the, the thing about extensions is that you're not putting these right on the scalp. So yeah. like I think Katie's going to err on the side of actually making them a little bit looser okay. rather okay. than tighter yeah. because of that. Mm -hmm. Also, we talked about her PRP treatments are primarily in the crown. Mm -hmm. So these are in the occipital and lower. Yeah, so nothing higher than the round of her. Right. Okay. So there shouldn't be any conflict. To be super cautious, we could do 
less hair, right. but I feel like it's strong <laughs> enough. Like we've talked about it and I think that her hair is strong enough. And if you mm -hmm. feel any weird tension, we just yeah. fix it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Great. That's what's cool. so neat. It's customizable. Yeah, completely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How, how do you match a client? I mean, clearly you've got a million colors and I know colors can be blended as well, right? Yes. So sometimes I will have to tone the extension to uh -huh. the client's hair or tone the client's hair to the extension hair. Right. But with her having such a beautiful, dark, rich color, it's mm -hmm. going to be fairly simple. So normally I would just kind of put this up to the hair like so. Yep. And if you can see the off black matches very well yes, with her. Does. So if anything, I think we could just do a little toner on mm -hmm. her hair the day of, kind of richen this up a little bit, yep. and it's going to match the extension perfectly. Wow, that was easy. So let's talk, you know, the, the most important thing is something that you mentioned about women in their 50s in midlife and the feeling and the options and, and yeah. why you feel what you're doing for Courtney is actually right. applicable for women my oh, age too. Oh, it's so huge. And at your age, at yeah. our age. Well, the, you know, we're the market. We're yeah. the target market. And the thing is, is like we, we all know we start to battle with feeling less beautiful and, you know, less special and things like that. And then guess what? At the same time, our hair is thinning yes. and it really stinks. Yep. So this is such a great way. And, you know, the way we started talking about it was because we were talking about what a good method the sew-in method so in wept is mm -hmm. and the reason it's so good is because it's such a stable way to install the extensions and it's so healthy for the hair mm -hmm. you don't have that breakage of you know extensions from 10 years ago right so a woman who has hair to here and loves her hair loves her style but it's starting to thin especially mm -hmm. at the ends you see that a lot yep. or the recession area we can install one row of hair and it blends perfectly. We do whatever we need to do to make it blend perfectly. We teach you how to style it. And then guess what? You're like unstoppable because mm -hmm. now you have the hair of your dreams. Yeah. And not only that, but it styles really well and it holds the style. For my, my curly haired women like me, how does that work? Oh, it's such a good question. We yeah. have, we can do two things. Okay. We can purchase uh, curled, already permed yeah. hair. hair to we can get it curled or waved. So right. there's different curl patterns. And then sometimes we do a custom. Mm -hmm. So we in fact just did one with Bellamy hair where um, it's a custom perm so that it matches the exact curl wave pattern. pattern of the client. And wow. it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. So you can wear it both. You can wear it straight or curly. Interesting. No, it's a, it's a little bit more work. Yes. It's more customization, but we're all worth it. So. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's my girl. Yeah. Okay. You feeling good about this? Yeah. I'm so Are you excited? excited? I'm so excited. So let's walk through the process. The first thing you did was tone her hair. It really was just kind of making an even canvas for everything. So everything would blend together. Yes. After that came the blow dry, mm -hmm. and but that wasn't a full on blow dry, right? No, that's not how I would typically blow out a client. No. Okay. So that was just enough to get it smoothed out and for ready for the install. And then how do you decide, because I noticed that you were going through sort of meticulously with the comb to figure out the part line and, and where to place them. So typically everyone's head is different. Mm -hmm. So I will take about two fingers from the top of the ear and I will then measure and start my first parting, like my first row of extensions, two fingers up from the ear. Okay. If someone has a little bit more head space, I'll go with three fingers, but my typical client would have about two fingers above the ear to start and from then from there I'll just kind of section out. And then explain what happens because I noticed that's how you were putting the beading in. So how do you decide the placement of that? So with that I actually just use the top of my comb. Um, so I just measure to make sure there's even space in between each bead. It's really nice to just use your comb as your guide mm -hmm. um, because that I mean with this method, you don't necessarily have to have beads right next to each other. It's really all in the sewing where this one's going to come in to play. So. Right. And so then I noticed you layered the mm -hmm. extension on top and then explained the sewing part. So that's kind of, after you put the bead in, you're just going to sew the weft into the hair. Some people, it's a misconception that they think you're sewing actually onto the bead, but the bead is just creating a foundation for the actual extension. So. Sewing 
the sewing part really is sewing it into the hair. So you don't ever really want to actually sew into the bead. That would be a, a mistake. I noticed on Courtney you did two rows. How do you decide how many rows to put on somebody? It really just depends on the client's natural hair. Mm -hmm. So with Courtney, she had some finer hair. So I definitely thought two rows would be suitable for her. Yeah. I think if we would have done more than two, because sometimes you can do some mini rows, I think it would have just been a, a little, little too much. much. Yes, like I don't want her to walk around looking like she has fake hair, you know? Yeah, no, it looks very natural with her own hair and it, it, it doesn't look unrealistic. And that's the goal. You don't want to look like, you know, you're trying too hard or, or have it look fake. It should look like yes. it's your own hair. What about the comfort level of that? I mean, is, is this comfortable? What can she expect when she sleeps? You know, is there an adjustment period? There definitely is an adjustment period. Mm -hmm. And I would say it definitely varies per person. Cause yes. I always warn everybody. I'm like, it might be a little tight for the first couple of days. Mm -hmm. You know, you might want to take some uh, Tylenol, Advil, whatever you like to take. But most of the time my clients are like, it, it didn't hurt at all. So yeah. I just like to throw that out there just in case. Um, but sleeping is a little weird at first. Mm -hmm. You're just like, oh, there's that? something. Yeah. But I will say after they kind of start, we were talking about the natural slippage, after that starts to happen, it's yeah. way more comfortable. I would say if you can make it through the first week, which <laughs> it's not crazy, sure. but you'll, you'll be good, good to go. To go. Yes. Are there any certain styling products to use, to avoid? What does aftercare look like? So the great thing about the hand tight extensions is there really isn't anything that you need to avoid. I mean, you would always want to use a heat protectant because you're probably going to be curling them mm -hmm. nine times out of 10. For That's, blending, right? Yes, it looks the most natural, yeah. but as you can see, like with Courtney's, I mean, it looks amazing. She could be straight or curly. Yes, definitely. Um, some clients, they just have to, if their hair is shorter, they need to curl it mostly. Um, but definitely using a heat protectant a hairspray is going to be your two main like best friend products like so tell everybody first of all the cost of the hair and then all in once you've paid for the hair what does it cost to to buy it to get it installed the style the trim what all in okay so the price of the hair is going to range just depending on the length that mm -hmm. you want to get um, we have 16 through 24 inches, and that price range is going to be between about 400 and 1,000 just for the hair. Mm -hmm. um, and then actually getting them installed is going to be about 200 per row. So it really just depends too if you're going to be getting like highlights done, balayage. But I would say you would be looking between for the full install plus the hair. Plus, we'll probably have to tweak your color, probably about 1500 roughly, mm -hmm. all in. All in. Yes. Okay. And that's really the initial price, but as you said, the hair you keep for eight months, mm -hmm. so then it's really just the maintenance thereafter. Yes, okay. definitely. Yeah, ma maintaining the color and... Yes. And the normal costs. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, my dear, for offering you were so this welcome. to Courtney. It was so I mean, much fun. Oh, it was amazing yeah. to watch just yeah. to see her face light yeah. up. What an incredible transformation. Yeah, yeah really. We see it every day. Ugh. We do this all day long, and it's so much fun. The level of confidence that people leave here yes. with, it's just, it's heartwarming, really. Yeah, it's special. Yeah. And speaking of, you are so gracious. You want to offer this to one we do. of the viewers. Yeah. <laughs> Your viewers are special. They yes. really love you, and they love what you Aww. stand for. And so we want to be part of it. And I think that there's probably someone out there who really needs this. Yeah. And so let's find that person. Okay. And I know that you're gonna explain how to enter, but yes. we're gonna give away a, a full set of extensions and we'll customize them in whatever way we need to. So um, it's a it's a value of about $1,500. Yeah, because so it's, it's all in. She gets, yes. she gets the mm -hmm. hair, she gets the color, That's the right. style, the, the insulation, the everything. everything. Before I tell everybody how to enter, who qualifies and who doesn't? You know, there are going to be a few people out there who don't qualify, and the reason would be that there's damage to their scalp, mm -hmm. or their hair is too fine, or maybe it's too short. Yeah. So, if someone wins, 
we're going to do a consultation and if for some reason they're not qualified then they unfortunately we'd have to go to the next winner okay but those would be the reasons got it all right so let me tell everybody how to be able to enter it's very simple all you have to do is head over to instagram and facebook come find me come find rachel at yes. the upper hand all you need to do is follow us you're going to see this photo of us on my instagram and my facebook accounts when you see that, that is your chance to enter. All you have to do is go into the comment section. You can comment whatever you want. You can comment, yay, new hair, whatever it may be. That's your entry. And we will notify the winner via DM a week later to be exact. And we can't wait to share who that's going to be. Our fingers are crossed for you. We wish you the very best. And we thank you so much for just being a part of really Courtney's hair journey. You know, you have been so engaged and so kind of enthralled by her story. So many of you have connected with it and you've seen her journey from where she started to where she is now. And it's really, mm. it's been remarkable. Yeah. And how fun she to watch. feels about it, it, it is. It's yeah. like you say, yeah. to be able to affect that kind of yeah. change in somebody is so powerful. Yeah, and so is. we can't wait for that to be you. Good luck and we'll see you next week. Bye.